So I'm here with Laura Swartz from Laura Swartz Live. You're a professional speaker, commentator, and of course a former director of events of uh, the White House. We are so happy to have you here in Finland, Laura. Oh, it's such an honor to be in Finland. I just came from lunch with the MPI Finland chapter, and I was so impressed by the great energy and the professionalism in the room. Oh, thank you. That's great to hear. And you came here for the second ever edition of the Evento Awards, mm -hmm. uh, which is an award show celebrating the meetings and events industry in Finland and awarding the best events, venues, speakers, and so on. Um, now, having been here for a while, what has been your impression about the Finnish events industry? Oh, well, first of all, the Finnish events industry deserves to be recognized and awarded. I had the wonderful opportunity and honor of being part of the jury for the Evento Awards, which were announced here in Helsinki a few nights ago. And I was so impressed by the caliber of the nominations. And after meeting so many folks in the industry on the supplier side and the planning side and execution, I find that it wasn't just the jury entries of which were nominated that are impressive, but the industry as a whole. I find that there are great techniques that they're employing here in Helsinki, especially when it comes to lighting, that I find very interesting, budget sensitive, and making a real impact. I was inspired by everyone that I met. Great conversations all around. Thank you, that's so great to hear that we are doing things right. You are. <laughs> and in general, how important do you find this kind of uh, celebration and, uh, and rewarding of the people who are doing a good job in the industry? Oh, I find it incredibly important to have awards for the events industry. Not only to award great events, but it allows people the opportunity to put forth a nomination. And in that nomination, it's a wonderfully reflective time. So number one, I would say it's fantastic to go through the process because you have to look at the events that you've done, what worked, what didn't, lay it out in text. Then you have to include beautiful visuals and talk about the outcome as well as look to get some testimonials from your clients. So it gives great insight to the planning professional as well as to be nominated and jury. Now, if you didn't put a nomination, if you didn't win, you were witness to a fabulous event of which you saw snippets of other great events that you can start thinking and taking things from and adding things to, as well as simply going online to the awards site. You don't have to be a jury member to be that. You don't have to be a nominated event to do that. You can go online and check it out. And I think that when we experience together, we learn from each other, which is exactly what MPI allows you to do on an ongoing basis, uh, both through their events and in between. And so I really find it very important to have magazines like Evento Magazine lift the industry up, provide the opportunity to nominate yourself, others, and then to learn from the process. And that's exactly what I experienced with the Evento Awards this week in Helsinki. Thank you. And yeah, you mentioned uh, MPI and you're a member of MPI, active and a great advocate for the industry itself. Uh, what would you say are the main benefits of belonging into an association like MPI? Oh, I am so impressed with uh, meeting professionals international and I am so proud to be a member. And that is because MPI is a place to call home for the uh, producers, planners, suppliers, vendors, anyone that has anything to do with events can have a home at MPI. And when you're at home with MPI, whether it's I was today at a luncheon here in Finland with phenomenal members, or communicating in between events, whether it be a social program driven by just cocktails with each other, or program driven with an educational sector to it, we can learn from each other and we can experience together. You know, a lot of people in the industry go to present uh, an event to a client. They present their vision for how to communicate their message through a fabulous event, large or small, big budget, low budget, anywhere in the world. You can often feel like you're just a party of one in that room with the members of the board around you or the client in front of you, facing you, looking for inspiration. 
and you can sometimes feel alone, nervous, uh, excited, but not sure how to communicate it. But when you're a member of MPI, you are never in that room alone. You've got the 18,500 members plus right in that room with you, figuratively. And literally, because they're just a phone call away, they're a coffee away in your local chapter if they're local. But you can reach out around the world to others that want to empower this industry and you. So I see MPI as not just a membership organization, but a mentorship association. That's why I am so proud to be a great part of MPI. And we are so happy to have you. Um, you were also a speaker at the World Education Congress in Minneapolis last year. Um, what was your experience being part of that conference? Uh, we are uh, doing e WEC and then the European version. So, what was your experience? Well, I think it, well, you hit it on the head just by calling it an experience. Um, that's what event planners and professionals in all sectors of the event industry uh, produce every day, an experience. And I thought that WEC rose to the occasion to provide a fantastic conference for education and special events, an opportunity to network with each other and, and, and meet new people to create relationships and the partnerships, all in those few days in the fabulous Minneapolis, Minnesota. They will again, the end of the summer in San Francisco, you'll do the same right here in Europe. And it is so important because when you attend, you get back a thousand times fold what you put out there. Whether it's meeting with suppliers and vendors and sponsors and supporters and each other, this is an opportunity to learn. Even though I was one of the speakers for a Flashpoint um, keynote, I have to say, I, w I was thrilled to impart any knowledge I had, but even more so, I learned a great deal. And for that, I credit MPI and the caliber of conferences they produce. Thank you so much. We're so happy to have you here in Finland and I do hope that you enjoy your stay in Helsinki and that we see you in the coming MPI events as well. Well, Auntie MPI has been a large part of that and you've been a big part of that. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.